Hello everybody, I am Alphabird. Welcome to a new video today. And thank you to a new channel member, Mountain Hermit, for joining. If you guys want to uh, support the channel and get a few perks, then have a look at the channel memberships. Uh, just next to the subscribe button in YouTube, there should be a little join button. All the details are displayed in there. We're doing something a little bit different today. I'm actually playing in a Red Storm 44 tournament. Um, I've never played Red Storm before. So this will be my very first game will be in the tournament. But here Robert contacted me and someone dropped out of the tournament. So he needed someone to play. And, you know, I'm a nice guy. What can I say? I uh, I said I'd help him out and, and join and play a game. I've been meaning to play Red Storm for a really, really long time. So I'm pleased that, you know, I get the opportunity to play it. And I know I'm going to lose ahead of time because... This is my first game and it is a tournament and I have no idea what's going to happen and and I don't really know much about the mod at all in terms of how it functions and, and the um, all the changes that the creators made. So I have had a little bit of help, you know, beforehand to tell me a few things, but there's so many different things that, yeah, it's not going to have been enough to really uh, know what's going on. So I decided to play the fourth Panzer because the thing with this mod is as well, some of the divisions are different. You you get some some new divisions like the Ninth Mechanized Corps, and um, I haven't I didn't prepare this. Uh, the fourth Panzer that I'm going to be playing. Uh, are there any other ones? Uh, it looks like they're reworking Gross Deutschland. Uh, oh, the Waffen Grenadier the SS uh, Pan Pankalos. No idea. Core Abtelong E. Wow, look at these. Some different Hungarian ones. So yeah, we're playing the fourth Panzer anyway. So I decided to play a division that was brand new because I thought you guys would like to see that. You know, and it shows off a bit about the mod. You know, there are different, like, there's so many changes in this mod. So take a look at it. It's called the Red Storm mod. <laughs> Hopefully you got that. Um, but there is a Discord for it. And I'll try and get a link in the description. So if you do have questions about the mod, then I think, you know, going into that Discord might be one of the best places. So let's just have a look at 4th Panzer. Uh, although it says the Elite 5th Panzer Division, so I think that's wrong, uh, was called in as urgent re uh, reinforcement to stem the Red Army's onslaught at the start of Bagration. Is this the... Oh, I just want to make sure this isn't the same description as the 5th Panzer. Oh, it is. Okay, so there's no need to read that at all. Derp. Right, let's go in and look at the 4th panzer so the activation slots i think are all different the points the activation points are all different the incomes they're completely different they've got a spreadsheet to, to tell everyone the division uh, incomes and the descriptions of the incomes like maverick and flatline just ignore that it, it's all about the points difference and you get bonus each division get like bonuses in certain phases so a b and c and and yeah, they, they're not in five point increments. So, and all the unit prices are different. There's a lot of stuff that's different in this mod, but it's, it was great fun playing it. I run through the deck and obviously you get live gameplay, live commentary from my game in a little while. Um, so hopefully you will enjoy the game. Recon's really quite important in this game. Uh, and there's, there's recon changes a lot to the different kind of, length of that you need recon basically um so you get loads of different recon vehicles and uh, aspects uh, we got uh, in the deck i've got some alpha some two three ones some flamen pioneers alpha flamen pioneers so recon units with a flame flamen werfer an at grenade some of the sometimes they don't show on the card as well because of the way the game engine is so there's an AT grenade on this unit as well. A uh, Flamen Werfer, G43s. Uh, this one has got satchel chargers. We've got uh, a Recon Panzer 4J. Let's go into the infantry tab. So no leaders in the infantry tab. They've been removed. And the veterancy doesn't work the same. So veterancy, I think, although I might be getting this completely wrong. Uh, the veterancy relates to influence on the front line, I think. So the more veteran the troops are, the more that 
it pushes the front line forwards. I might be wrong on that, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's different traits. We've got here Erzatzgruppen that represent poorly trained soldiers or two, ones that are too old or wounded. And they have like negative bonuses. And then we've got things like the veteran Panzergrenadiers with here Kriegs veteran that have positive bonuses. And they're to do with being forged in the five years of constant conflict. So like the tooltips do tell you a lot of information. I didn't read the tooltips. <laughs> but yeah no i kind of got the gist um but i i didn't have a lot of time beforehand so i just played the game uh in the tw in the tank tab we've got some panzer 4 j's we've got a panzer 4 h leader and the leaders work differently but i don't really know how the leaders work now honestly so i don't even want to try and explain it um we've got some panzer d's we've got some panzer g's and obviously all the prices are different um, we've got panther d's furas um some of the tanks have got radios on them i'm trying to just give you some basic information and, and obviously the amounts that you get you'll be noticing there's a lot less units uh overall i think and some of them you know the the they're restricted on kind of what you can buy and things like that uh, but the divisions, I think, have different compositions of how many units you can buy. I mean, if we look at the infantry tab, there are a hell of a lot less infantry units. I've got 50 and I'm using every single uh, infantry slot. Um, in the support tab, they've got... So the support tab holds the leaders, just so you're aware. We've got Hansegrenfuhrers in my deck. And I've got a Hansa 3 which is a tank commander and the commander system is completely different so you have different kind of commanders do different things so you've got like an infantry commander that only buffs infantry leaders and then you've got like a tank commander that only buffs tank units and then you've got like an armored car commander that i think buffs armored cars and and trucks and mechanized units and then we've got like a recon commander the buffs recon units so things are very different and they, this is what i mean about you have to take some time to kind of learn how to play the game because the game is really due to the trait system it's really different but it's really cool as well so definitely give it a try i've got some marder threes in the um anti-tank tab with some marder two leaders and these look really cool um, and some pack 40s so yes i think that's a pretty decent anti-tank tab in my anti-air tab things are definitely different in the anti-air stakes look at the range on this flak 37 six thousand meters but they aim really slowly from what i understand i was really i really wanted to try this unit but unfortunately i couldn't afford it and i didn't manage to get it out onto the battleground i did get a verbal wind out there though um but yeah, I don't think it did that much work for me. Actually, the Wibblewind was really good in ground combat. I guess it does have 420 mils on it. So yeah, that, that was quite fun to get the Wibblewind out. Uh, artillery is, has got the support guns in it. And, and these support guns can fire in directly. I actually bought an SIG-33 out. But then literally, I don't think I even got a chance to use it. Um, because it got destroyed straight away. <laughs> but the range on this thing is like 4700 meters but like i say i think most of that is indirect fire i don't think it fires directly at that distance i'm i'm not really 100 percent sure and you'll notice none of the big artillery units are on here so things like the lf lefhs and um, the sk18s the sfh18s none of them are on the battlefield they're all as part of the off map vehicles so off maps are the big artillery units and you only get access to the smaller mortars and mortar half tracks and things like the grill and the infantry guns that can fire indirectly as kind of like pseudo artillery pieces so yeah lot, lots more and you also get smoke on these uh some of these off maps so the lfh 18s i think get get smoke on them a lot but unfortunately i didn't use them <laughs> 
And then the aircraft, um, we've got some Measure Smith BF109 E7s. Uh, we got some Stukas. Now, apparently, Stukas are really good, and the 500 kilogram bombs are really quite powerful. Uh, the fighters can't strafe, which I learned in the game <laughs> as I tried to strafe some stuff. And we got some BF109 G6 R6. So, my idea with the air tab was just to try and defend my tanks. Um, I, I wasn't really, I didn't have a lot of slots and the, and the, I hear that the Shukas are quite good. So I thought I'd go with that. So that's my very quick run through of the deck. Hopefully you'll realize that things are quite different and yeah, but that it's exciting all the same. And I hope you enjoy the game. Check, check it out. Right. We are playing the fourth Panzer on, uh, well, the incomes are all completely different. So we've kind of got like a Maverick style income where we're going heavier in B phase, but we're up against Bazuglago, who've also got a similar sort of uh, income. So we've got a better B phase income, but a worse A phase income. Um, I've got no idea how this game is going to go. I got myself a Messerschmitt E7 from the start because I've heard that planes are really strong. Um, and... Yeah, I thought I'd pick the fourth Panzer because I've got, you know, it's a different unit. Things move really slow, as you can see. I've got myself a 2-3-1 going into the town. I've got no real strategy for the game either. Um, I guess the usual Shedrin game, we should really dominate the left more, though, more so than the right, being an armoured division, but who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I, I'm pretty certain I'm going to lose the game... I'm just hoping that I don't lose it too quickly and that it at least gives um, a good video, uh, at least makes a good video. I 100% know I'm going to lose and I'm not even sure whether I've got time to play a ge another game if I actually won. <laughs> so yeah, we're definitely going to lose, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Ooh, looks like something went over there on the, the right, but got to be a little bit more careful. Okay, I saw some infantry coming in. I think I'm going to send another infantry in there. And a tank, because I can afford it. Okay, so we got some Resvedkas on the right. I didn't actually think I would get into this compound. Um... My Flammenworth, my Alkla Flammenworth is kind of getting up there. I'm really worried about that Resvedka though. So I'm pretty sure I can't... Oh, okay. So I did bring a tank. Probably good timing because my vehicle died. I'm hoping these have got smoke. Nope. No smoke. Okay, so let's try and get out of the way. Because clearly they're infantry guns or rifles whatever you the term you would use are quite good i don't actually have any infantry to push on the the right <laughs> on the left even because it's interesting that he's left that area kind of alone oh he's there's a lot of this stuff that's not really taken uh wow he's got Quite a lot on the right from the looks of it. And we might need an infantry unit over here. Possibly a tank as well. Ooh. Okay, we're going to fall these back. I don't want to die needlessly, as I just died needlessly. Um, we are losing that flag. 1410 now. My tank's getting involved. I'm going to bring back my AT, uh, AA even a little bit. Bring my tank out. Um, got another tank on the way. I'll drop my infantry off to try and take that flag back. I'm going to try and bring my half truck around. At least I dominate. Maybe I could dominate the center a little bit. Who knows? 
we could do with like a couple of MGs in there. Maybe a couple of support trucks. So he's definitely pushing me hard on this right hand side. Let's fall back the AA. I'm gonna need some more infantry over there on the right, but you know, I'm just trying to to hold that right and exploit the left a little bit. This is my first time ever playing uh, Red Storm, so I think I've I'm actually pretty happy with how I've started. Oh, big incendiary hit on that Panzer IV H. Let's pull that back. I didn't like that. And it's kind of stuck where it is. And he's dead. So that's different. That is different. Um, let's move those over that way. I might move these around a bit. We're going to need something to face off against that P-34. And we can bring in some more Panzers. We got a pack 40. We're bringing a pack 40 as well. I need some infantry to try and push that left hand side. Uh, you went the wrong way. Ooh, crew kill on the 4J. Man, that T 34 is doing good. Radio destroyed. That doesn't matter. Push the Panzergrens forward a little bit. Panzer fours are not working for me right now. Come on. Tank Commander KO. Come on, we need the kill. Yes. I don't know whether I can. I don't think I can fix up the crew kill. I think that's a thing where you can't fix it up. Let's get a commander in there. Uh, we do need some recon for the... Sorry, some infantry. Ooh, ooh we got movements of foot. Uh, where can I hit you from back here? Okay, they're pinned down. Okay, come back. Come back. There we go. Right, let's get you out. I've got an Alpha Club 4. I'm going to bring you around this side. Okay, so we are starting to... Do a little bit more work here on the right hand side. I'm actually really pleased that I'm doing okay right now. I'm wondering where to put this. I like this kind of position down here. You can get some sneaky hits with the pack 40. Uh, on the left, let's get another motor, uh, a couple of infantry units. Let's get a marder as well. We've done okay. We're 12 12. I'm, I'm mega pleased right now. Oh, oh, off maps. It's not too bad. We're still feeling happy. Ooh. Let's pull these back. Okay, MPTs on the right. Oh, my tanks have gone down. Man, that was fast. Uh, we need some AT. Don't really... Oh, shoot. Ah! Oh. Really worried now. I think I might have to get... And the, the buy of the Messerschmitt from the start was clearly... Not... Oh! Just as I say that, I am prepared. Oh, God. Just as I was talking about how well I was doing, I'm now somehow don't feel I'm like I'm doing well at all. I don't think we're going to kill the IL-2M. Oh, we should have pushed forwards to try and cut off the line of sight. Oh, we got float carburetor failure on both planes. We have a little bit of AA in the area as well. Um, I need tanks. Don't know the Rangers, honestly. Don't lose. They're very unforgiving. These guys aren't being spotted at all, though. 
And I think you need to go go home. Our, uh, to push you through. I mean, you might get destroyed. Um, but let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Hopefully you get some kind of kill. It looks like the left-hand side. Let's just push the pack 40 forwards. You really need to destroy the stuff on the left. Uh, I feel like that's letting me down right now. I'm a 13-11. My J is got bad. Yeah, the N SMPT or whatever it is went down. Hey, we're doing okay with them. I can't believe this. Oh my days. Badly damaged optics. Well, you were a help. You did your job. You served the mighty 4th Panzer. Um... I think another martyr over on the in fact let's let's just ah uh, martyr <laughs> let's go let's go <laughs> okay panzer you need to get out of cover or into cover you need to get in the building oh my i can't believe how well i'm doing i mean i'm 13 and 11 down right now but genuinely bloody well chuffed at how well i'm going I'm going to push that mortar forward slightly. Okay, so the MPTs... Cover that forest, that's fine. These guys are going to come straight up. I need to destroy that MPT before it gets into serious uh, situation. A serious position. Now, let's... Oh, I can't afford a Stuka. I was going to Stuka it. Oh, there's the off-map. We've spotted it. Let's go destroy it. I don't think I can destroy it. Damn, I can't destroy it. Um, I'm going to need some tanks. Yeah, I just saw that. Turret stuck. Ooh, we got some infantry coming down there. Shooter kill. Turret stuck. Oh, no, he's falling back. Ooh. And I cannot strafe. I cannot strafe. So you come out. Come around. Oh, oh, I thought, thought, I thought things were going well. Hey, you push forward, you push forward, you push forward. You stay where you are. Let's go infantry on the left. Um, I want some kind of artillery. Oh, God. Things are quickly getting out of control. Oh, oh, I got a plane. I got a plane. Yeah, we can get that. We can get that. We've nearly got that little compound lot. Uh, let's get some more infantry in here. Oh, no critical this time. Spark. Oh my AA, come on, yes! Ooh, driver kill, that's fine at the moment. Track's broken. Oh no, crew kill. Oh my god, stuff's behind me. Um, I'm going to need another tank on the left. And we'll bring in another one on the right. I need artillery. I desperately need artillery. Oh, you're going to have to move back. What's... F Looks like the M42 gun is firing at it. Um, I'm actually 13-11 right now. I'm pretty pleased about that. Okay, motorized pioneers. You can definitely deal with them. My MG42s are getting into the area. I'm going to fall back a little bit. Oh, I think I lost some units there. Okay, we need some infantry. I need to get that flag back. Let's remember our leaders. 
Let's remember the leaders and we must buy artillery. <laughs> Okay, Panzergren's out. Let's push him forward on foot. Okay, they went down. I'm a bit happier pushing these guys forwards now because I know I've got reserves coming in. Uh, we've got an SU-57. I think my mortars can still do that. You shouldn't really be moving forwards. I say my mortars can do that. I'm clearly wrong. Definitely need artillery. Must buy artillery. Um, okay, artillery. I've got an off map, so let's bring it. Let's unload these, make sure we don't lose them. We'll push them forwards. Don't know whether that's a good idea or not. Pushing the Alpha around the side. Oh, we lost the map. We lost the mortars. Um, I'm going to pull them back. I need some kind of AT in the center. And I need a leader here to hold my front line. From the looks of it. We do have stuff coming in. Yeah, left hand side, here's the engagement. And we should be okay. Motorized units have gone down. I say we should be okay. I think we'll get a mortar and um, some more infantry. And I definitely need some kind of AT to deal with all that stuff. Okay, we got more tanks on the way. Uh, you need to reload. Panzergrand Führer coming in. I've got two Panzergrand Führers over here. Um, okay, Elf Club Panzer H gonna go up. Ooh. Okay, that was not successful. Uh, that was not successful. Okay, just managed to get you out. I'm going to bring in a G6. Um, it's got a few tanks in there. Really pleased with how I'm doing. If we lose now, I'll be satisfied, I think. Oh, we got the falling back at least, anyway. Um, gun jam. I don't think I can fix up any of this stuff. He's got some really nice positions. Um, right, my off map is now in, though. Fire for effect in there. Oh, I hope he doesn't move those tanks. I'm going to lose the Plemonworth, I think. I'm going to go for a, a Panther G, because why would you not go for a Panther G? <laughs> when you have a Panther G, go for a Panther G. <laughs> okay, looks like he's got loads of light stuff. I'd normally just strafe, <laughs> but I can't. I don't, I'm, I'm finding it hard to push that position there. I'm going to smoke. Um... Uh, what else? Right, things aren't going so well right now. I think we could do with some tap guns and some more infantry. There we 
the off map's going to be helpful for now. Oh, he's got a centre push. Oh, he's got a tank up there on the left. Yeah, I'm actually really struggling to get through things now. Um, I think this is where, if you know the game, maybe you know how to set things up quite well. I'm going to drop on that as well. Um, we definitely need another tank. We have got a Panther G on the way. Oh, he's got a flak. He's, he's going to have a tank in there, though. The problem is, he's, I know there's a tank on the way, and I can't destroy the tank, so this attack is basically failed, no matter what happens. Um, yeah, I'm now 14 down, and I'm struggling to kind of hold my areas. So... Oh, actually, I think, luckily for me, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, we'll bring a tank in on the right. I think I'm going to need artillery. I think it's, I think artillery is really causing me an issue right now. Or the lack of artillery, should I say. The Panther G, I, I don't think I can move forwards because of that 85 mil there. Um, I got some veteran Panzergrens in now, though. We'll see how they get on. Oh, we lost one of our planes. That was uh, annoying. We need some... Ooh, what do we need? Da, da. We need some artillery, so we'll get a mortar. Uh, I think I'm going to get an SIG. Can that fire at 2k? I think that can fire really far, so that should help me out in the forest engagement. And my... Oh, there's just too much going on. Oh, no. Oh, no. I uh, definitely need more infantry. Okay, Stomoviki Sapori versus Motorized Pioneers. Oh, he's got more than one. I, you see, I haven't got anything cheap in that center area. Oh, he's taken down my mortar. Good work. Put you there and then move you there. Okay, I think this is where Sir Daniels picks me apart piece by piece now. I think we've had our go. I think we've had our uh, we've had our attempts. But I think this is it. Um, I just can't get through on this right hand side. We're going to need more infantry. Um, let's bring up some support guns. Hands are going in Fura. Let's just try a push on the right. Okay, for the third time. 
Is it the third time? Stop. Not quite Stop. sure. I know he's got a tank in here. Oh, no! No! No, was that a T-70? Oh, my days. What a kill. Just as I was about to move it. Oh, oh the devastation. Come on, Messer Schmidt. You're way behind enemy lines. I don't know why. <laughs> Chasing an A-20. Let's get out of here. I've heard the fighter micro is really good in this. Or the fighter combat. Okay, let's try and micro him. Let's scissors. Come on, we're going for the scissors. No, it's not going to work. Oh. <laughs> good effort, good effort. Right hand side. Come on, you've got to take down that T-34. Engine destroyed, that's fine. Sorry, it's not... No, it's not good enough. Oh, no! Complete failure on the attack in front now. Everything's failing. Hold the line. Ah, um, let's bring in a Panther D. Uh, I think I'm going to lose it because I'm <laughs> losing everything. Uh, we've got 18 minutes. Let's try and hit the separate. Um, like I say, I've got nothing in here. That's a massive problem for me right now. Yeah, he's trying to exploit me there. This right side is just... Uh, why do I keep saying right? I'm terrible with my lefts and rights. That entire left side has just been a bane in my ass for the... In for, for everything, for the game. Let's throw a Junkers. Junkers. A Junkers. Oh my days, things are going wrong. I'm gonna bring the fighter across. You never know. Okay, get on the back. Get on the back. Look at that. Now that. Go that way. Come on. Come on. Come on. 27. Is he going to get there? No. Okay, I think he's going to get shot down now. Yeah, damn it. Gun jam on the... On the four... I don't know whether it's me, but it seems like maybe the tanks aren't refacing, but I don't know. I think that's just, uh, my observations are, are wrong there. Oh my days, look at this! What happened here? What? I've got three leaders here. I've done that many attacks. Fifteen nine now. We're starting to seriously struggle. I've got to say, the T-34s have been absolutely wrecking me. Maybe I've just not been engaging right. We've almost got that position. I think I need some more AA as well. Let's get a Wirble Wind up here. Um, I need stuff for the center. Oh, there's a T6 Tiger there. Why are you... Oh, 
Oh god, things are not going well. I think you can still engage with the orc. Oh, the panther died. Can things get worse for me? Oh my days! Things could definitely get worse. Oh, it's the flag 38! Yeah! Take that. The, the left is going to completely die now because the tiger's there and I can't I can't beat the tiger. I've actually pushed back on the right. We've got a chance. Let's go. At the slowest pace possible because units move a bit slower. Right, let's let's just forget the left. Uh, forget the left. Push the right. Push the right at all costs. The middle with the left's collapsing, but who cares? The right's where it's at right now. Oh my. Jeez, what's happening here? Keep going, boys. It's <laughs> we're playing rush tactics in Red Storm. Is that a sniper? You little sniper. Um, let's get a support weapon. I should have had my tank commander like ages ago. Let's just... Oh, I need something in for there. I'm going to divert one of these infantry units. I'm going to try and sneak my mod around. He definitely won't expect that. Ah... SU-57 is strong. Tiger's coming in. It's going to stop it in her tracks. Hey, who is dropping that? Is that me? I don't even have any off-maps. How am I dropping an off-map? How long has that off-map been there? It's stuck. Oh, I think it's because my unit died before it was used. So now the now it's kind of stuck. Um... We need to take down the tiger if we can, somehow. We're making some good progress. Sort of. And my infantry units have died. Um, let's bring a... Oh, okay, I can't really afford any of that stuff. I don't, don't think I'm doing too badly. It could be a lot worse right now. What are you doing? Don't go up there. Just stay back. Yeah, clearly you're just going to have to defend. We need to push everything that we possibly can into the right-hand side now. It's the only chance we've got. Oh, my mortar went down. Damn. I need something to take down the tiger. Um, let's just bring in more packs. I really want that off up to go off. <laughs> Oh, he's got two tigers up there now. Okay, at least my pioneers can hold that position. I don't know whether pack 40s work where you can just kind of Q-move them. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, need a big tank. There's still a hope. I know he's got loads of infantry in there. Don't like that that Wibble wind is firing. Although, I'm sure it's going to do a good job. He's got loads of troops in there. Oh, he's fired my troops! Uh... I've got a measure Schmidt. Can he see that? Keep going. Oh, 
he's bringing in BA tens. Why has he brought a yak over there? Okay, so he's pulling it across. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have pulled mine back. Who knows? Oh, don't die, Werblewind. Uh, the right, we got to do, we got to win the right because the left is just utterly destroyed. I think I ought to turn off that EPCR. I have no idea how it all works. Yeah. Right now, the problem that stand that that was amazing. I have to take down those tigers and I have no idea how to actually do that. I mean, I guess we just get panthers. <laughs> I don't really know. Why am I using back 40s on the front line? And why do I suddenly not have this front line? I guess my infantry units might be down. Um. Marder 2, yeah, you can come round here. Got another Marder 2 on the way. Oh, he's got an off map. Let's react now while we can. <laughs> I think my right... Oh, I've only got 20 seconds left. I don't really understand why I don't have these flags. Um, I know that's to do with the mechanics of the mod, but yeah, uh, you do need to kind of learn how to play this game. Oh, uh, there we go. We lost, but I'm pretty pleased with that. 36 minutes, 55 seconds, 2,178 kills to 3,850 losses. Congratulations to Sir Daniels. I mean, that was my first ever Red Storm game, so I'm actually not disappointed at all in any way, shape, or form by that performance. Uh, let's have a look at the kills. Panzer IV started off pretty well, actually, and here was me complaining about the T-34 76ers, and my Panzer IV shoots actually did really well. Um, what else happened? The Pat 40 I mean, I don't really know what the kills and loss losses are like it's quite hard as well because he's because these have the full names they don't easily translate to me so this is a mod of three that took out a couple of units and my start seemed really good luck or at least some of the units in my start seemed really good but it definitely didn't feel like it translated that way on the ground um uh, my yunkers did pick off two t70s there the stukas i hear are like really strong in this uh in this mod uh, my Panzer IV H as well. Man, here was me complaining about my Panzer IVs. And a lot of them got kills. So, maybe a lot of them died as well. Who knows? Well, a lot of them have caught... Ooh. Yeah, but that's it. <laughs> I thought I was doing okay. Uh, and then I realised I'm at the bottom of my list. Um, I think definitely this is a slower place game that needs some thought about how you're going to play. And you... You need to use supporting weaponry. I feel like maybe I was fighting with frontline equipment all the time. And what happened was Sir Daniels was able to build up some supporting equipment that, that really uh, devastated me. Uh, let's have a look at the losses. Wow, look at this reserve squad with the PTRDs. PTRD is clearly pretty strong. Um, SU-76 MPTs. I remember these guys. They just wrecked me. <laughs> That's what it felt like. Uh, wow, look at this T-34-76 Comrotti. This thing did the work. Uh, although, uh, you know, in terms of tanks, only, well, a Panzer IV H and a Panzer IV J there. So, definitely did pretty well. What else have we got? The T6 Tigers. That killed my Panther. Oh, can you remember that Panther that died to, like, the T70? Ma was it a T70? T55? Uh, what? It was, it was a T-something. <laughs> it wasn't the T6 Tiger, that's for sure. I'm sure it was a T70. 
Let's find out. Uh, I don't think I got to use many panthers. I got this. This panther died to the T6 Tiger. Yeah, it was this T70. The bow managed to snipe my panther G in the side. Man, that was a good kill. Grossman, Les Grossman in the Panther G. What a truly amazing spectacle. So I'm going to give some final thoughts on Red Storm as a mod. It was fantastic fun. Uh, I've been waiting to play this, this mod for a really long time. A really long time. I just find it hard to um, take time to... Uh, away from the kind of content that I'm producing on the channel um so i'm kind of pleased that i was able to play red storm for the first time and do a video on it at the same time because like i say taking time away from content that i'm delivering to you guys is um it is really hard because it's it's inefficient i i'm not a full-time youtuber i don't get a lot of time to make videos outside of you know working and trying to do some bits around the house and stuff like that so i like to try and do as much time towards the channel that i can and that delivers as much content to you guys as i can so if you want to support me then look into the channel memberships and yeah subscribe if you're not subscribed <laughs> um if you want to ask me any questions about red storm feel free but the person to, i think they've got a discord specifically for the redstorm mod so i'll try and link that in the description if not i'm sure someone will pop a link in the comments or uh somewhere in my discord or you know you can give me a shout either in the comments or you know send me a message on discord and i'll try and get hold of the link uh, if i've not been able to put it in the description and i would definitely recommend you to try it i mean i only scratched the surface I didn't really understand anything about what was going on and not in a bad way. I don't want to put you off trying this mod, but there, there is so much to this mod that you really need to invest a little bit of time in kind of knowing how the mod works and how the changes that um, Crisps, the creator, has made. Like I say, there is a Discord dedicated to it so i think a lot of the answers if you've got questions will be in there and mr critz gave me a run through beforehand and hey robert uh, gave me some details beforehand as well so the community around this mod is really um passionate and and happy to help out players that want to try it i definitely recommend you try it because it is uh, almost like a completely different game so if you and i think definitely as well if you're struggling with the pace of the game in vanilla like i have been then this might be the mod for you because it is a bit slower and things work differently so i'm not necessarily saying this is definitely going to be up your street but i definitely am saying that you i think you should give it a go and i will if i have time i will try and play some more games of this mod let me know down in the comments below do you want to see some more gameplay footage of red storm um i the one problem is to kind of invest time in in i'd have to invest quite a bit of time to really get into the mechanics what i would say is there are a lot of um links tool tips on the units all the tool tips kind of display what the information is so if you take a little bit of time and just read through the tool tips you you're kind of halfway there i really enjoyed it i definitely recommend you give it a try and let me know your thoughts down down below in the comments <laughs> yeah that's all from me thanks very much for watching i am alphabet i will see you soon <laughs>